Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream, or if you were not here earlier, welcome to this evening's stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are here, we are playing Pokemon Gold this evening. If you were here earlier, you would have seen me looking as usual, but guess what? He's only gone out and gotten himself a brand new haircut. Here he is, looking debonair. I do say so myself. Aging Doctor Boy, Doctor Birthday Boy. Can't see you. Now you can. Please help me welcome Jack. A trim. Yeah, indeed. Look at it. Don't don't look all debonair and and better, right? Ain't that better? You know. Now I now I actually look like a, a pub manager, which is essentially what I will be when I return to work. And I've just realised. Light up my life! Ah, there we are, just a little bit of background light. Perfect. Nice do, smart, thank you very, very much. How are we all, everybody? How is everyone doing this fine afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is? Brother! Yeah, looking fresh, thank you very much. That's because it is literally an hour old. It's so much better though, right? Like, I've got a bit of play, I can actually go up a little and get myself a quiff almost. Ain't it good? You, yeah, handsome. No, thank you. Don't touch it! <laughs> I will do what I want for it is my hair. It doesn't look good down. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, it's gotta go up. Up and uh up and over, just like that. But it is wonderful. I do like it. Swag. Full of food, how are you? I am very good, thank you very much. Just found out the fan in the GPU is failing. Oh no, but at least there's a cheap replacement. At least there is the replacement. Just had a cheese platter with a salad. Nice. Benefits of keeping a six-year-old card in your rig. <laughs> what did you guys have for dinner? Nay, Sean? Anyone else? Jay has work. That's unfortunate. I uh, I hope that work is uh, I hope that work is okay for you. What has everybody been up to this fine day? Philly cheese steak and chips. Oh. Okay, the song was supposed to do that. Philly cheese steak is a great shout. I ain't had a Philly cheesesteak in a long time. It's a very good shout indeed. <laughs> Jay is gifting five tier one subs, Jay! Thank you very, very much for those. That's incredible. 24 total gifts. That little Lola. Witchy Mermaid. Uh, sniper Breath. Matt as a hatter and purple space pimp enjoy those subscriptions. Access to the new emotes. I say new. Access to the emotes. New if you're not subscribed before. Thank you very much, Jay. Very much appreciated. Didn't have to do that. But I'm, I'm very thankful. I got a birthday card. Let me show you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Let me show you. Uh, here we are. Sometimes a card will make your whole day, if not your whole year. This is not that card. Thanks. <laughs> Four more to target. Four more to target indeed. Look at that. We've nearly hit up the hyper extended goal. Oh, and with still potentially. Yeah, yeah, there will still be streams left over as well. If we reach the hyper-extended goal, I've got to find a new superlative to uh, extend the bar by. We are also 10 subs away from unlocking a new emote slot as well. Which is going to be super exciting. Anyways, should we, uh, should we get some video game up? Hyper plus one. <laughs> Uh, let's get some video game going. We are on Pokemon Gold this evening. 
literally... I haven't turned off the music yet, so let's do that. Right as the song ends, that's perfect. I've literally just loaded up the game and immediately... Bug Kacharani has called. LOL! Tak good evening! If he's about to wish me a happy birthday... Then... I'm gonna be very freaked out. Good evening! Happy birthday! <laughs> it's me, Arnie! Have you got a minute? Yeah, sure, Arnie. What's up? Ah, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Tuck! Yeah, happy birthday to you! I'll... <laughs> Can you imagine? So... Last time we left off, we made it here to this place and our Pokémon are not particularly well leveled to be able to take on the gym at this place. So we need to spend a bit of time doing some Pokémon grinding. I think. Uh, who is it? It's fighting type. Which means that ideally we want some flying attacks to do the dirty work. So Flap Flap should be in pole position, which it is. So let's get out on the water, do some surfing, catch some Pokemon. Or not catch, kill. Kill. We want to go in for the level ups. God damn it, honey. Ten, you say? Yes. Don't do it. Flap Flap needs a good old leveling. I think Flap Flap's gonna struggle here. I think we need to, uh... Problem is, like... It's not like we're stuck here. We can surf all the way back, but... It almost feels like the Pokémon we're encountering here are not gonna help Flap Flap level up very much. Not very good at all. I think we've got to we just got to switch uh, switch out. Flap flap in front, immediate switch over to Barbara. Thunder attack and level up that way. Not tackle though. This has been an unmitigated disaster. An absolute disaster of a start. If I wanted to be fair to myself, I would say we are up against a Tentacruel straight out of the gate. Which feels a bit heavy. But we gotta we gotta go straight back to the Pokemon Center already and, and heal up. <laughs> Cause that was a right royal pasting. And actually, you know what we We could do the trainers in the gym. Cause we did do one of them in the last stream. We could probably we could have another go at one of the other ones. Oh, excuse me, no, we did two of them. Which means there is only one more. I think I think switch leveling is probably the best thing for us. Let's not let's not rock the boat too too much. So what's everyone been up to today? Has anyone been up to anything exciting? Or if you were here earlier, have you been up to anything exciting? In the couple of hours we've been away. Star you gather near the water's surface at night. I've already got one. But thank you. Are you going to be rocking up with two star yous? Wendy? No, just a... Just a random... Random star you facts. Whilst she's holding on to a horsey. Which I feel confident we can take down. Looking for aftermarket card replacement. 
makes sense. Work and Final Fantasy VII Remake, work. Ugh. Sad times. Work and reading up on recipes. Any uh, any exciting recipes coming to mind? How was work now? You said you had a, uh, a class you weren't looking forward to. Did it go okay? Shame that, uh, shame that the horsey woke up. We could have had a clean sweep there. But five health, though, I'm not too concerned. Good. And another horsey. So that was, that was literally just a random fact dump about Staryu. And she hasn't even got one. Did some rest diff different recipes for a fish soup. Ooh. That sounds quite tasty. Like... Like... Bully bays? Is that the correct pronunciation? Bully bays? Doesn't feel right. Uh, do, you, do I still have Swift? Or did I teach it to something? I don't think we ever encountered Swift. I don't think we taught it to anyone. Got a year 9 class who are fine, but tiring to teach. you got to be on them 100% of the time. Constant reminders of good behaviour and expectations. Can't trust them to work without supervision. A year 9! Now, how come they can't do all that themselves? Come on. Also got a shout-out card from an anonymous year 10 student which said, I want to shout out Miss Burdette because she's swag and cool. Well, what an achievement. They're a very immature class. So uncivilised. You get the TM early on? Oof. My own... I don't know, either we've already taught it... Did we teach it to Egg? Oh, we may have taught it to Egg. I think you may be right on that. We may have taught it to the, uh, the Togepi. Uh-oh. Nope. It probably would help us out quite a bit here, huh? Would have been better than Tackle and Peck. Had I have known... No, didn't we put... I'm sure we just put the Togepi straight in the box. Didn't we? I don't think we even gave Togepi... A, a chance. Could always check. Let's uh, let's keep on for now. Up until we need to retreat. Are you seeking the secrets of Whirl Islands? No. I'm literally here because my bird is weak AF. Swimmer Matt Hugh. Uh, 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 uh. Losing faith in uh, in flap flaps hypnosis here. You need to be doing better. Instant wake up. Not moose clay, no. Bah, bah, rah, that's it. Who's got the quick claw? Who, who is it who's got the quick claw? Maybe we should uh, swap that out. I'll have to have a look and see. Because I'm not sure what Flap Flap's holding. But maybe we can uh, swap it out. I don't think we've got any kind of flying move boost. What are you holding? Is there a way to check without taking it off you? Everstone. Oh, right, yeah, we just gave Flap Flap the Everstone because we needed item space. Who has the Quick Claw? Uh, I think it's Finchy? 
Yeah, okay, let's do that. Where is it? There we are. Okay, it's, it's probably a bit too late to do anything with now. But on the next round, we'll see. Why does it always miss the first one? And the second now. Things are looking bad. Leave me alone, please. Oh, that's obnoxious. This is going to be slow going. Even more so now. That's it! No injury because of the confusion. That still, as super effective, only does less than half. And we're eight levels higher? Oof. Flaffy's not very good, apparently. Flaffy's even worse than I imagined. Probably should have gone in with a Thunder Wave first. That would have at least given us first go. Every time. Still. Never mind. Come on, let's get that new emote. We just need people to subscribe, that's all. Which people can do if they so choose. £5 or free with Amazon Prime. wondering if we're going to spend the time grinding Pokemon if we may as well just surf, oh no, because if we do surf back to the other city we've still got to surf back this way as well. The place is teeming with tentacruels. Jay gave out two more subs. Thank you so very, very much, Jay. To Lapworth Gaming and Morgan1998. Enjoy your new e uh, emotes, guys. Jay, thank you for the gifts. That brings total channel subs to 27, I believe, and two away from completing the hyper extended goal as well. For God's sake! Honestly, the game is just. It's not letting me get any kind of meaningful progress with Flap Flap here. Now we've got to go back to the Pokemon Center to heal up again because it's poisoned. Oh, critical hit constrict as well, thank you. Have you seen the Pikachu on Acid YouTube video? No. Pika chewing on his chin? This is going to be such an uphill struggle. Flap Flap is trying to learn Reflect. <sighs> sure. I know it's not damage dealing, but... Never use Growl.
I want to see if I can... I want to be able to stop the audio from skipping all the time. Priority. Maybe put it on high? Maybe that will stop it. This is really starting to wind me up. <laughs> yes, let's surf. Up's defense will help a little with fighting type. Okay. Okay, that might be partially useful then. But in either case, we do still definitely need to pump up flap flap steps. Pump up flap flap stats a little bit. No, that hasn't helped with the audio. Darn it! Let's just keep on going. Remember Def Jam? Um, I've heard the name. Oh look, there is a new knickknack! Oh yeah, of course! Of course there is. Uh, I added in a, uh, a stretch one as well because after I finished the stream earlier I did a stretch and it felt really great. And this is something that everyone else can do at home as well. So everyone, put your stretch out. Out to the sides. Up. Loosen yourself a little bit. Oh, and come back down. There we go. Doesn't that feel better? What a game that was. Def Jam Vendetta? Means nothing to me, I'm afraid. What was that? PlayStation? Means nothing to me, unfortunately. Yeah, just a little stretch, then you feel all loose and limber. And you're all good. All good. I noticed when I was sat in the chair, having my hair cut, I have definitely put on weight over the last however long it's been. I was sat there and I was like, oh, my, my torso is a little wider than it used to be. Definitely a little wider than it used to be. For God's sake, poisoned again? What have I done to deserve this? Shift starting, let's go. Have a good evening, Jay. I hope it goes well for you. is outrageous please just if star you gather at night why am i not facing any of them why is it all tentacles that woman lied to me Maybe we can get a missing no glitch to happen and just level up 600 times. And so it works in Gen 1 by Cinnabar Island. Just sail up and down the east coast and wait for it to... Wait for it to bug out. Been playing this to and from work, and the other day I came across a fire type. A uh, what? A fire type Pokemon? Where? What was it? Any good? Can I get one? It only comes out during the day. <laughs> Growlithe. That would be good. Definitely got to find time for some daytime streams of this then. Sideshow Bob again. Sideshow Bob has become a bit of a uh, a bit of a mainstay in um, in the stream memes over the past couple. Every time, it's, basically every time I would otherwise give a really exasperated sigh, the kind of. Uh, we just swap it out for the Sideshow Bob grumble. Alright, we're getting there. Flap Flap's getting a little bit of TLC now. We neglected them a little bit. A stream meme? A stream meme. Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll call it. 
Ah, another one. I'm not used to my hair being short. It's been so long. Alright, put it to sleep. Don't poison. I guess the work stream works for stream and meme. Oh, the word works for stream and meme. A meme stream? A meme stream is different to a stream... a stream meme. We've, we've been no good at a meme stream because I don't know enough memes to make a stream out of it. Where's the lamb sauce? That'd be about it. Disgusting. Okay, two memes. Maybe this tentacruel as well. This is a bit of a meme right now. Flap Flap's gonna die. Switch it out, it'll at least get some XP. Isn't there a streamer award show called The Streamies? If not, that needs to be a thing. I have absolutely no idea. But you're right, it should probably- it should be a- it should be a thing. Kinda like the, uh, like the BAFTAs or the Oscars, but streaming. I guess the only downside is that there are the variety of people. The Streamy Awards. Arnie! Oh! Good evening! It's me, Arnie! You have to see this! The Yandma have appeared! Please come and fight me so I can go home! The Streamy Awards. But this is the thing, is like, how do you then go the award for best streamer when there are hundreds of thousands of streamers? Arnie, please, just leave me alone. Can I delete Arnie's number? Not that I particularly want to. Arnie's become as much a part of this adventure as our Pokemon team have. Or are we stuck with Arnie as a permanent companion forever? It will go to whoever's most popular at the time. Fair. This year, once again, Ninja! <laughs> it's always Ninja. Ninja's like the, uh, the Anton deck of Twitch. Just always there, always getting awards. Should be able to screen your calls. Calls, exactly. It was invented by YouTube. Oh dear. Don't trust it. Don't trust anything invented by YouTube. Slash Google. Whatever your preference. Yeah, I, I should be able to like see who's calling and then press B to hang up. If I don't want to talk to them. Oh, and then Jake Paul's winning every year. I can't, I'm, I'm not allowed to talk bad about Jake Paul, because otherwise he's going to come round and box my ears. Or is that Logan Paul? I don't know. Whichever one of the Pauls does boxing, do they both box now? Either way. I blame the Pauls for the fact that I'm no longer allowed to make money off of YouTube. YouTube moved the goalposts for what it takes to become partnered and make money in response to whichever one of the pools it was that filmed dead people in that forest in Japan. They were like, ah, well that's unacceptable, we need to make it harder for people who are not already established on YouTube to get established on YouTube rather than punishing, you know, the guy who actually did something pretty sick and not in the good way. Brittany, happy birthday! Thank you very much, Brittany. How are you doing? I hope you are well today. How things been? 
They both have boxed at some point. Oh. Oh, it was Logan Paul who did the filming. It's Logan Paul that I blame for my... for the collapse of my YouTube empire. <laughs> empire. It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I stopped uploading to the channel for over a year. How's it going? I am going very well, thank you. I'm going very well indeed. I'm alive, shoot your message later if that's cool. Absolutely no problem at all. No problems at all. Beautiful. Thanks for waiting, no worries. Quick hydrate and back out onto the open sea. Let's try this again. Back and forth up the coast of this town We're trying to level up our bird Because it is weak and we need it to face the gym leader Don't even bother with hypnosis this time, just go in. Peck its eyes out. All of them. POISONED AGAIN! I too would mostly blame Logan Paul, mostly because he's a hack idiot that puts some of the worst content on the site, but 12 year olds eat that up. They sure do. And... Google isn't going to cancel one of its money makers. That's what I mean, like if they moved the goalposts for their partner program and made the restrictions more unattainable for people who hadn't already attained them. Whereas the people who were already established and the people who are actually bringing the site into disrepute are allowed to continue doing what they're doing. They have to put up an apology video, but otherwise, fair game, crack on. Ryu Spitfire, hello! Welcome back, how am I? All good. Had my hair cut? <laughs> but otherwise, all good. All good. How about yourself? I saw you was streaming. A hydration break. Good idea, good idea. I got some good water, so we should keep on going. Atlas is here. Happy early birthday, Nick, for 125 bits. Thank you very much, Atlas. How are you doing? I hope everything's alright. I won't be around for the birthday stream as I have to work Saturday. That's no problem. Uh, this is this stream is kind of instead of a birthday one because I too have plans on the Saturday. So we're just doing a small little stream today. We had a little stream earlier on as well. Just for something to do. A nice low-key, low-key stream. I'm not a big birthday celebrator, to be honest. I could just as easily just let it part. Poisoned again! What is the poi- what's the successful poison rate on Poison Sting? Because we've got to be punching above the odds right here. This is insane. Game just crashed and back hurts and I want to hug someone. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear. I wish I could do something about that. I can do like a uh... I can- like, I can hug my webcam. It's about as- it's about as close as uh... as close as I can get. Yeah, like this. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that beautiful shot right out my... Oh no, that's my neck, I thought that was my armpit. There you go, look. It's for anyone who needed it. Here's the rest of the bits. <laughs> Happy birthday, thank you, Atlas. Neither am I, didn't celebrate a birthday for about eight years. I'm just... It's okay. For, like, people seem to want to make more of a thing out of my birthday than I do. So more often than not, I'm just kind of happy to let it go by. But 
we got to do something to mark it, so that's why we're just doing nothing big, nothing zany. Just a, just a small little hangout, especially because that's all that people are allowed to do at the moment. Poison Sting in Gen 1 and 2 has like a 70 or 75% chance. We've got to be punching at nearly 90% at the moment. It's crazy. A Nick Neck hug? The best, it's the best I could do. That's it. Give me more of these tentacles because their poison doesn't seem as potent. I think we'll get to level 28 and then take on the gym. So I can't stick around, brother. I have some stuff to attend to, but I wish you all the best. A happy birthday and good luck with Pokemon today. Atlas, thank you very much for stopping by and for the bits as well. It's very much appreciated. Enjoy whatever you have to carry on with today. I hope everything goes well. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Some point next week, hopefully. See ya! This is what we're after. Alright. Something good may happen if you level up Barbara once more, perhaps. Is that so? <laughs> this bird is just weak to all toxins. Who thought? Who thought getting a Hoot Hoot was a good idea? Whose idea was it? Someone in the back there, maybe? There's someone sinking down into their seats. Hmm. That actually doesn't make uh, much sense, evolutionarily speaking, because smaller jellyfish tend to have more potent poison in order to get eaten less. The more you know, the more you know. We tasted it! 100 bits, happy early birthday, thank you so very, very much indeed. Very kind. Oh, a hype train is close as well. Oh no, I see it. I like Noctel. He had... he had Porcon. He had Porcon. Don't let it burn. Noctowl's okay. Just at the moment, we just need to push. Push it further. Sorry for useless knowledge. No, 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 no. I love useless... useless knowledge. Keep it coming. I love the useless knowledge. Did you know that your ears line up perfectly with your nipples? That's today's useless fact. Constitution, of course. Should know that. <laughs> or they should line up perfectly. I don't think it means anything if they don't, but anatomically they should. Like your your the bottom of your earlobes should line up pretty nicely. Longitudinally with your nipples. Come on, you're a DD player now! I've I've played one game and I'm signed up for a second one. Which is due to take place at some point. I'm not well versed. How up to date are you on Pokemon knowledge? Um, anything beyond Gen 1 is a, a blur. <laughs> I know very little. What edition did I play? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Someone else was DMing. Um, I was just along for the ride. It was my first... 
It was my first ever game. So I was just kind of going with the flow. Whatever people needed, whatever happened, I was just sure go for it. Probably 5th edition? Maybe. Oh, it's another one of these Ray... Ray things. Mantine. Was advantage and disadvantage a thing? If so, that's 5th edition. I think... I think there was advantage and disadvantage, yes. Let's bring, bring up some Fossilmon facts that is regarding newer Fossilmon. Kabuto and Kabutops, Omanite and Omastar, Aerodactyl are the only ones that I know, I'm afraid. Come on. Taking out this Mantine is surely gonna level us up. Or at the very least get us close. Go on, you can do it. 480? Alright! Flap Flap grew up a level. Now, apparently, possibly, maybe... A little birdie says that Bar Bar Ra might experience something good if it levels up one more time. Would you count Aerodactyl as a dinosaur? Because it's not. You get it from Old Amber. So it's kind of fossilised, isn't it? Whether or not I can... I mean, if it's not a dinosaur, what is it? I always assumed it was a dinosaur. It was based on a pterodactyl. Oh, a speed drop as well. Costly. However, I think we can do it. A couple more Mantines should see us right. Maybe a Tentacruel as well could help. Trying to evoke the power of Ed by asking for what we want. It's based on the family of Pterosaurus, which aren't dinosaurs at all. Oh! Just as little as a Mosasaur is. I have no idea what that is. I <laughs> Evidently I know very little about the world. <laughs> I'm okay in my little bubble. It gives everyone the opportunity to educate me on new things. What about the magical Leo Pleurodon? Charlie! Charlie! Look out for the magical Leo Pleurodon! And the fugu fish and the blah blah blah! <laughs> oh, I was hoping for a crit, but it didn't come through. Oof, poison sting is just... nasty. Alright, Barbara grew to level 30! <coughs> Who knew? Oh, they stole my liver! Mosasaurus, also called Mosasaurus, or oh, Mosasaurs, also called Mosasaurus, do actually belong to the monetary lizards. Oh, okay. Hey, look at this creature! This is. So we've gone from Mareep to Flaffy to. Uh, this Pokemon is called uh, Thunderoo. Ampharos. Okay, I was completely wrong, but never mind. Hey, and he's trying to learn Thunder Punch. Absolutely, yes. What can we get rid of for Thunder Punch? Tackle. All right. Nice. Let's sail home country rivers to the place where we belong. And now I'm going to take on the gym again, hopefully. That'll help. 
I think it will. I hope it will. Because I'm ready to continue with the progress now. We've done 50 odd minutes of grinding. I'm ready to move on now. I'm ready to carry on with the stream. I'm sure you guys are as well. We've done, we've done all our grindy bits. Let's now actually get down to some combat. Let's go best foot forward. Start with flying type. And we'll go from there. Words are useless! Let your fists do the talking! Look at this knucklehead. Give me what you got. Goku. This man should change his name. Coming in with a Machop. I have one of those also. Okay, feels good. Oh, the seismic toss. We can manage though. Uh, seismic toss is another move that does the user's level of damage, I think. Named after the guy that translated this game into English. <laughs> No, I will not change. Ring ring, Sharp Gaming is now hosting. Thank you very much for the host, Sharp Gaming. Welcome, welcome. Happy birthday to me. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. How are you doing? Rock slide super effective. That's dangerous. I hope you're well today. Oh! That hurts. Come on, Steve. Not very effective. Uh oh. The more you know. Just end it now. And the pterosaur is also a lizard, if I remember correctly. And the dinosaurs, like T-Rex and Brachiosaurus, are actually avians or birds. I knew that, like, because that's some like people meme about that all the time about how chickens are descended from the T-Rex. So I knew that bit. Cool. Now I need to go and heal again. So we're still not invincible, but we are making progress at least. Doing well, having a well-earned day off. Good to hear. Good to hear. What have you done with your day off? Been up to anything exciting, or has it just been a lazy, chill-at-home day? We've been in this Pokémon Center so many times, they know our name. Okay, I think the game wants me to do something like this. Muscle used strength. No. Just push, just literally push this one forward. Or not. Well, whatever, we'll have to have another go at this. My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon. We'll see. I have so much useless knowledge. I like useless knowledge. It's great. Black Belt Lung? I guess I must have missed the bit where we fought Black Belt Esophagus and Black Belt Heart. Lazy Day at Home? Those are the best. Sums up my entire year so far. Not for much longer, however. 
That was a great opener there from Flap Flap, thank you. Another Mangy. Well, he's working hard. We can't take that away from him. Well, well, well. And again. You gonna go lurk now? You don't have to go lurk. You stick around. If you are, though, thank you very much for lurking. Okay, 25 Prime Ape. I think we can do this. Perfect! That was incredible. A flawless run. Good job, Flap Flap. It's just a shame we messed up the boulder puzzle. Takinator! Sniper Breath, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Ten bits, flawless victory. Thank you, Nay. How are you, Sniper Breath? Hydration break. Yeah, I could take one of those. I was talking about this earlier. I've got them here now as well. Prawn crackers. I do like prawn crackers, but they're a weird food. Okay, so what does this actually want me to do here? It's dropped. I love prawn crackers. They're very they're an unusual food, but they are quite nice. There we go, sussed it. Sussed it. I've missed some chat here, one second. Oh no, you're all talking too quickly. Stop this. Try and hand up video editing yesterday and overlays. Overlays went well, video editing not so well. Little steps, baby steps. Where is my family? They're at their house. Prawn crackers are nice! They are good. My uh, my flatmate ordered Chinese, but she doesn't really like prawn crackers, so I've been left with an entire bag, and I've been slowly uh, working my way through. Oh, uh, Sean came in with the solution. Nice. Did you go and be with your family on your birthday? Just saying. My birthday is on... My, my actual technical birthday is on Saturday. So... Saturday? Yes. So I turned 29 on Saturday, and... I am going to see my family on the Sunday um, because that's the only day that my mum, dad and sister and uh, my grandparents could be there as well so we are doing something I'm just doing like it because because I am seeing my family I'm not going to have a chance to stream at any other point this week so we're using today as like our birthday stream if you like <laughs> it seems like this gym leader is Waluigi. So, you've come this far! <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm tough! My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones! Watch this space! Chuck. Ugh. Alright, Hard Nut. There. Scared now, why you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Come on. Ah, um, another early 90s baby I see. I turned 30 last year. I've got my 30th next year. That, uh, so that puts you, that puts you at 90s? 1990? I turned 29 in October. Uh, Jay's birthday is October. Jay turns, uh, Jay turns 30 in October. He won't forgive me for telling people that, but he does. 
Hey, look at all my face. My face is everywhere. <laughs> Leader Chuck sent out Primate. At level 27. Okay. We maybe could have done with a couple more levels, but we'll see what we can make of this. Oof. Okay, okay. Taken out at the first hurdle is not a good place to be. However, we do get a little level up. Nice, thank you. What's next? Polyrath? Polyrath? If only there was an app for that. Well, it turns out there is. I'm gonna use the Bar Bar Ra app to do what we can. Thunder Punch! Oh, could have been a down in one right there. Mind Reader! We need to end this now. Underrated streamer? Where? This was referencing a one or two streams ago with a water fighting. Ah. Uh, wow! Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. Easy! Easy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright, now we can finally get on with what we're up to in this game. Stormburge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use fly when you're not inside a battle. Here, take this too. Talk to the lady outside the gym. Sniper Breath, gotta go. See you later. Thank you for dropping by. Sniper Breath, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you again soon. Carry on being cool. I'll try. That is Diwamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Great, thank you for that. Hey, we tasted it 70 bits. Congratulations, thank you very much indeed. Don't forget to pick up Fly, otherwise, this has all been redundant. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's Cyan Wood's gym badge. Then you should take this HM. Alright, now we're getting some steam. Let's go. She just called her husband fat. Alright, also now, to be honest, I'm more excited about the fact that we now have a high quality flying attack, rather than just having to make do with peck. Awesome. That's what we need. Okay, so let's do a heal job. Also, I know where you can get Rock Smash. Heal them up. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is, now that we can fly and have a greater ability to maneuver, I think we need to fly back to the very beginning. Because there is places that we were not able to access that we now can. So we should maybe investigate some of these locations. Hi, Mum! Hi, welcome home! You're trying very hard, I see. I've kept your room tidy. Or is this about your money? No, no. Is daylight saving time over? No, no. Just... do what you can. 
Thanks, Mom. Thanks for the confidence. Take a moment to see Professor as well. Hello! Good news! I'll call you if anything comes up. Alright. Exactly, a nice bit of tidy up. For instance, we got this lake right here. What lies on the other side? Let's find out. Level 20 tentacle. Let's test out our new moves. Yes! Oh, fly is such a great move. What we should maybe do... You know what? Let's, let's get flat flat to 30 and then we're going to have to work on our other Pokemon as well. Oh! It's a secret little island over here. Because 30 feels like a magic level up number. That feels like where we're going to need to get Pokemon 2 to move them into the next tier of evolution. Hello, sir. Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto! I don't want to go this way yet, do I? Check your Pokegear map and see! Yeah, I don't think I need to go this way just yet. Go back! This is the post-game, I don't want to be here. Okay, well, duly noted. And then there's nothing else to do around here. Okay. Fine. Um, I'm not getting any chat come through. I'm seeing it come up on screen, but it's not appearing in my chat box. Go fight red now, go all in. <laughs> Why is my chat not updating? Yo, Ani is calling! <laughs> Again, good evening! Uh, let's uh, uh, kill the neither. Uh, no. Let's uh, let's keep moving. Well, uh, we've got a bike, haven't we? Or did I put it in my computer? I did. I put it in the computer. Never mind. We don't have a bike. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, hoot hoot. This ain't gonna work. There we go. Level 3. Toasted. Maybe I'll get my bike out of the next Pokemon Center so we can breeze through the cleanup a little bit. Is, um... Is chat coming through? We play Marco Polo, I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco? Polo. It's popping up on screen, but it's not popping up on OBS. Uh oh. Hmm. That's an unusual, uh, an unusual problem. Is there something overlaying it on OBS? No, no, it's in, um... So I can see it popping up on the screen, right here where you guys see it. But I also have the chat log on the right-hand side, which I can scroll up and down to see the entire chat history. And that's what's not updating, is the chat log. So I can only read chat as long as I catch it on the side of the monitor. Which isn't helpful. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can I... Can I maybe refresh the widget? Yes, I just closed it. Maybe if I redo it. That'll figure it out. There we go. That's fine. There we are. We're there now. Let's try again. Let's play Marco Polo. I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco? Polo. There we go. It's coming up now. Awesome. That was weird. Weird technical issue. Thank you for your help. <laughs> How unusual. I was having issues with alerts, but that's me being tech impaired. Twitch just doesn't work as well as Twitch likes to think that it works. So it's, I don't think it's got anything to do with tech impairment. I think it's definitely to do with the fact that Twitch just doesn't work a great deal of the time. At least not in the way it's intended. <laughs> never mind, never mind, we're there now. Until we're not. If it breaks again, then... Uh-oh. This is going to be a very hard slog. In terms of levelling Pokémon up. We're not going to be able to level Pokémon up right here. Obviously. Every little does help. But... It's going to be slow going. We can also use this time whilst we're walking back through is if we can if we come across any berry trees we can get more berries because we've still got that sick mill tank that we need to heal so we should try and get our hands on as many berries as we can the guy who makes balls out of apricorns we're going to be going back past his house Okay, we found a town. What was up the other way, though? It was OBS, I think, actually. Oh, OBS had a thing? Either way, something stopped working. And I'm not here for it. If I wanted things to stop working, then... I don't know. <laughs> I'd buy a rubbish make of car. Insert your least favourite make of car here. I can't do anything here. Okay, so now that's done, let's fly to the next town rather than try and battle our way through all the grass again. I'm going to get my bike out of the PC so that I may get about quicker. Let the mill tank die. <laughs> We make that mill tank suffer because of Whitney's mill tank. Because of what your your kin did, you shall suffer in perpetuity. No, no, no! Don't heal them again. You, you literally just there should be a dialogue box where if you immediately talk to them again after healing, it just pops up and says. I already did it. They're, they're fine. Or something like that, rather than going through the spiel again. Uh, I'm going to put my rage candy bars in the box until we need them. Everstone can go in as well. Do 
Uh, I want to withdraw. Thank you. Bicycle! There it is. We found it. I like that idea, actually. For your kin's actions, you will all suffer! Who is the Apricorn Man? The Guide Gent? <laughs> that wasn't the Guide Gent, that was my Guide to Gent. Disregard. Not in this town? Okay. Well then, let's get out on the lake and see what awaits us over here. There's a man. He's in Azalea. Oh, okay. We gotta go all the way to Iggy. That's a 200 IQ joke for you, by the way, there. Let's keep things moving. Let's keep things moving. Come on. We are still going to fight everything. Like I say, I want to try and get everything up to around level 30. For the time being. We have got another gym as well that we should take on. In the town with the lighthouse. So, we've got plenty. Same place with Slowpoke Well. Gotcha. A Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's Mystic Water. I don't need it, so do you want it? Back to fishing for me, then. What does Mystic Water do? Powers up water-type moves. Steve? There you go, buddy. Enjoy that. Alright. So we're done here. We got the bike. Which we can assign to a number. There we go. Registered bicycle to select. Oh, that's so convenient. What isn't convenient is immediately coming across an encounter. Jasmine, the steel type gym leader. Oh, oh yes, she's the one in the lighthouse. Steel, huh? I mean, my first thought for something like that is either water or electricity. To take down steel. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Who's this? Mr. Pokemon. Ah, oh, Puzen Kerebri. Thank you very much. Is it you? Oh no, this was the guy that was with uh, Professor Oak. Did we fight all the trainers as well? That'll be worth doing. Also, where's Arnie? Whilst we're, whilst we're backtracking all this, we should probably track down Arnie and give him the fight that he so desperately needs. So that he can go home and see his family. He hasn't seen his family now for four weeks. Are you Arnie? No. I can't remember, I've never listened to him where he says he is. I think he's Route 35?
Oh, okay, so Arnie is around by Goldenrod, it seems. Fine. Nothing to worry about there, then. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I can explore it. Our Pokemon can explore it. I have Flash. Spinchy, right? Yes. Do it. Boom. A potion. Nice. Nice. That'll be useful for us. Steel is weak to fire, fighting, and ground. No bother then. No problem at all. We've got muscle for that. So maybe we should be working on muscle then instead. And muscle is is relatively weak actually, so let's put muscle up at the top. Also, muscle gains boosted XP owing to the fact that it was traded. So we should be able to level it up in no time. Good times for the next gym. Ground, fire. Don't use fire with the last Pokemon. And fighting plus water, but water is for the last. Oh, then we are absolutely set. We have nothing to worry about. And I can't do anything out of there. So that's everything sorted in Dark Cave for the time being. As soon as we get Rock Smash, though, we have got to come back. A bitter berry, thank you. Betty bitter bitter berry, but the bitter berry bitter Betty bought was bitter, so Betty bought a better bitter bitter berry that was better than the. You know where we're going with that. Normally it's Betty bought a bitter bitter butter, but in this case we'll go with Betty bought a bitter bitter berry. That seems reasonable. Bell sprout. Ah. Huh. Good, but not quite. Oh, not very effective, huh? Doesn't matter. Boosted 54 XP out of that. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, this is school. Don't forget, if you level muscle to high, it will stop listening to you because it's a traded Pokemon. But I've got badges to level 70, right? Does that not apply to traded? Oh, hello. Rare candy! Nice. Keep that one tucked away nice and safe. Sprout Tower, we did everything in here, I think. So we'll carry on with that. Anything up here for me? Oh, it looks like it leads somewhere. Hello. Hey, it's another item. PP up! Great. That applies to Traded, just a friendly reminder. Okay. So we do need to be careful. I don't want Muscle to become unruly. Oh, you just can't not sing along to this song. Do 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 do
You're not Apricorn Man, are you? No. If you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. Uh, I thought we were protected up until level 70. Which does actually feel quite high, given how that's, what, badge number 4? Five? Oh wow, we are we are gym badging through here, okay. Well, maybe I'm wrong then. It's a it's a Prizkrebri. Thank you. This is the unknown temple? No. If you've got badges that are up to level 70, then you should be good. Awesome. I trust. I was wondering if there was a separate badge that accounted for... traded Pokémon. Ruins of Valve, yes. That's not here, I don't think. You can do more. More there, now you have Surf. Okay. Then let's try and find the Ruins of Al. Let's see if we can uncover some more secrets about that place. And I think that that was further over this way, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, here we are, the Ruins of Al. So, we went in this cave last time, and we went in the top cave as well. And that leads us back around there. Got you! Okay, here we are. And then... Over this way... Is where the Sudowoodo was! Cool. Okay, putting it together now. If you want Rock Smash, you're heading the wrong way as well. We, 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 we can turn around. Turn around... Talk to the fat guy. This man? Hello. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. Thank you. That happens to be Smash. Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single, well-aimed smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. So we've got more backtracking now. I've got to go back to Dark Cave to see what those smashed rocks were about. That is, of course, assuming that Muscle can learn this. I'm assuming that he can. Hydration break and a posture check. Thank you. So can Steve and Barbara, apparently. And a stretch out as well. Everybody. Join in if you wish. One, two, three, and stretch. Out to the sides. And stretch. Go up. And back down. It helps if your hand doesn't get stuck on the ceiling. Wah! Right back into it. There we go. All limber and loose. Ready to teach my muscle how to smash rocks ladies. I'm off to play Borderlands. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you very much. I will. Good luck on your adventure. And a hundred bits as well. Thank you very, very much. I like to do an eye-shaped stretch with my arms. It stretches the back better. Love a good stretch. What do you mean by eye-shaped stretch? I'm going to swap out Mud Slap for Rock Smash. Oh, L-shaped. What's that like? Like, one arm up and one to the side? Time goes by. So slowly, slowly, time goes by. So slowly, slowly, time goes by. Something like that. 
Something in my body just cracked. Uh oh. Are you okay? Right. Now we have the ability to fly. No, to rock smash, sorry. Take me to the dark cave. Because there was definitely some rock smashing that needed doing there. Good. Nothing broke or dislocated, just like cracking knuckles. Good. That's, that's okay then. Like, my knuckles crack a lot. They never used to. It's really bad. I, I keep on making them crack. I need to I need to get out of the habit of doing it. I know it's been kind of disproved that it's bad for you, but it also still probably is kind of a little bit bad for you. <laughs> so I do try not to, but... Because it's just trapped air. It's just air bubbles popping. But I don't know if it's actually detrimental or not. Jay might be able to tell us, but he's working. This rock looks breakable. Want to use smash? Yes. Perfect. Onwards. Our quest can continue. And we've got easy pickings in terms of the Pokemon that we're facing. We just go in with a fighting move and it absolutely rinses whatever we're up against. The XP isn't much, but it is boosted, and it is at least something. I would kind of hope, given all the rigmarole you have to go through to get here, that the Pokémon would have been a higher level. And therefore worth more XP. Because you needed to have defeated the Pseudo Wudo, which is not an easy feat. To be able to get Rock Smash. So it makes sense that if you in order to make it this far, you should face off against tougher Pokemon. Like a level 15 Krabby, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, more of that. Low kick, go! It missed. Okay, we'll do a Karate Chop instead. Nice, that's what you like to see. A crit, one hit kill, boosted 300 XP, that's great. Freebie, what do you got? Hyper Potion! Thank you. The cave music is a lot better than it was in Gen 1, I will say that. It's a little bit more rhythmic than the Gen 1 That kind of staccato nonsense just is not pleasing to listen to. A full heal, but I'm full. Okay... Who can hold what? Got a pee-pee up. Mary Jane? Oh, it's a pee-pee, it's not a HP. Got you. Oh, don't... Mm. Toss them out. They're fine. The Lavender Town theme is still like nails on a chalkboard. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know. I think it's more tolerable than the caves from Gem 1. 
Trust me, I've dislocated my shoulder several times. Ugh. Wouldn't say anything. I'd be calling 911. Yeah. Dang straight. Oh, fighting is not very good again. Oh, of course, because it's part flying, but it doesn't matter. We can still do it in one. Oof. I can imagine a dislocated shoulder is outrageously painful. I've been fortunate enough to never experience a dislocated bone. I've just straight up broken a bone before, but... Oh, here we are, a little berry grove. It's a berry. I'll take it. Man, that mill tank is going to have such a great breakfast when we find it. A prizkrebri! Thank you. Dislocated shoulder takes priority. 100%. I, I, would, I would expect, if someone dislocated their shoulder whilst watching my stream, I would expect, nay encourage, nay insist, that they stop watching and call the relevant emergency service and get it seen to. Just throw him on the ground. A dire hit has got to be more use than that. Thank you. Are you trainers? Oh indeed. I'm raising Pokemon too. Will you battle with me? Sure I will. Whatever your name is. Camper Ted? Sure, what do you got? Mankey? No. I've got Muscle, both fighting type. We're gonna have to go with Strength because fighting won't really do anything, I don't think. Easy one shot, that's good. Uh, boosted 402. Nice, nice. Oh, he was only one Pokemon though. What? And how about you, miss? Would you like a fight? She raises Pokemon as well, who knew? In this universe where everyone has them, she raises Pokemon too? Come on then, Picnicker Erin. A Ponyta, majestic. What a beautiful creature. Not long for this world, unfortunately. Off to bed, good night friends. Are you streaming tomorrow? I am not. This is the final stream for this week. I am having a responsible gathering of people outside on Saturday. I am at work tomorrow and I'm with my family on Sunday. So this is the final stream this week. We will be back to usual next week on the Tuesday. Muso grew to level 27. Nice. Now coming in with another Ponyta. Why on earth would I change? We need to level up Muscle for, for Jasmine. I want Jasmine to be impressed by Muscle. <laughs> Had to spend a full night in hospital for a dislocated shoulder because it needed surgery to pivot back in. Oh, spending a night with dislocated shoulder is agony, even in the hard hit in meds. Oh, dang. I bet it was on the side you sleep on as well, right? Then I shall say happy birthday now, 30 bits. Nay, no, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very, very much. Have a good evening, have a good weekend, and uh, I will see and speak to you next week, if not before. Good evening! <laughs> Hello, Annie! Yes, I am uh, I am on my way, Arnie. We will fight you again. We'll fight again. Don't know when. Don't know when. I mean, I guess if I was really, truly, honestly thinking about it, what I should say to Arnie is, Don't worry, Arnie. I'll be back. <laughs> I 
get a sideshow Bob grumble. <laughs> okay, did I miss anything at the dark cave? I feel like we may have done. Just gonna have another look. Zubat. Not important. Not for us, not right now. I guess actually. The reason why the Pokémon are still low level is because, if I remember rightly, Pokémon levels are based on the the map that you're on, rather than, you know, just different tiles having Pokémon at different levels. So if we go deeper into the cave, then we should come across the higher levels, because it will be on a different map. At least I think that's how it works in Gen 1, maybe? The same way you can only encounter certain Pokémon on certain floors of a dungeon. Muscle evolves next level. And yes, it was the side I sleep on. Ugh. And dominant arm as well. What bad luck. That is bad. It's crazy, you realise how much you rely on your dominant limb when you can't use it. I remember when I, uh, to all intents and purposes, fractured some fingers on my right hand. I, um, long story short, I fractured them on my PE teacher's knee. We was playing basketball, I went to swipe the ball away, missed, and then just straight on his knee and did my fingers in. So those three were all taped together and it was, I, I couldn't write. And then had to try and do everything left-handed and I was like, damn, I, I use my right hand for a lot of things. Don't take that out of context. We went up. What I want to do is find my way back to that clearing and see if there was any other trainers for us to fight. Seventy-three. Oh, he's so close. I believe muscle. Is this fight gonna do it? I doubt it. Maybe two or three more? and then we should level up. I haven't used Rock Smash yet. Maybe we'll use Rock Smash on the next Pokemon that deserves it. Oh! <laughs> Tantalizingly close. Oh no, I went this way... Last time. There isn't anything else anyway. Okay. Now I do want to do one more pass through the cave. Because I think there's one other direction we can go in that cave. And I just want to explore it. Because I think we needed Rock Smash to continue further. The bike shop? Hi! Our bicycle sales have gone through the roof! We owe it all to your advertising by riding around on the bike. As our way of saying thanks, please keep the bicycle. Thanks again. No worries. I mean, I had very little intention of giving it back anyway. <laughs> but, um, it's nice to be told to keep it. My right side had the worst luck. A dislocated finger on my right hand. Oof. 
Darn. So how's this, right? I uh, I broke my left arm. Not only is that my non-dominant arm, so I could still do my schoolwork, but I also broke it just before the, the Easter holidays. So, not only could I still do my schoolwork, but also I didn't actually get to take any time off for it as a result. Talk about bad timing. Dislocated shoulder hurts more though, I bet. Oh gosh, that's so close. Oh, we didn't need Rock Smash. We couldn't actually go any further. Okay. Well then, that's my fault then. Apologies for the wasted time here. Let's just get back to... Get back to where we were and continue forwards. This Zubat should level us up. If it doesn't, I'm going to be considerably upset. Fantastic. 28. Muscle grew, and my muscle is evolving. Into, I mean, I, I don't need to guess what this Pokemon's called. This one's called Machoke. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah. That's what we need. A little bit more power in our team. And so, with that being said and done, we did everything in Violet. I think. Actually, no. Now we've got to go to the the Alphabet Ruins. I should probably heal up first. Unlimited power! <laughs> what a good what a good team we're beginning to build now. We got ourselves a Machoke. We've got a uh, a Giga Electric Sheep. We're doing good. I'm gonna pres- wait, we could- can we get Machamp as well, because the Machop was traded? Is that how it works, or do I- I don't, I don't remember if that's how it works or not. I think that's how it works. Okay. So, we solved the picture puzzle, and we did everything in there. Let's see what awaits us. Hmm, not much. Machoke needs to be traded. Gotcha, that's what, that's what I thought it was. Oh ho! Hello? Okay, we got ourselves another picture puzzle to make. That looks like a corner to me, so that's gonna go there. That looks like a corner. Can't work out any of the others. I don't think that one goes there. This is an edge. Which goes right there, I can tell. I think that one's gonna go there. That will sit right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're this edge. And you're gonna sit right there. Missing some pieces. Is it that piece? I don't think it is. It might be this piece. 
That looks a little bit better. This goes right there. Okay, I don't know about either of those yet. That goes there. We got that. That one down in the bottom left, I think, comes up in the top middle right there, maybe? Uh, these two need to be swapped around, actually. Let's hope if I could work out what it is I'm trying to create here. Oh, it's Aerodactyl! Is it Aerodactyl? It's Aerodactyl! I think. We did it, though. Cool. Uh-oh. There is a strange presence here. Oh. Are we just in the basement of the temple we've already explored? Oh, it's unknown weighing scale. Oh, look how ferocious Machoke looks. I love it. Resistant to fighting. Never mind. Still knocked down in one. The boosted XP is great. It'll just be a slow level up. For the time being. I'm assuming that these are the same ruins. Oh, look at this, it's unknown Simpsons hand. Going with the low kick. Yeah, the unknowns are resistant to fighting. Fortunately our Machoke is darn strong. So it doesn't matter. Take me up. It's the same set of ruins, okay. Was that the only... That is the only place to go down here. Okay. There was, however, one more lake towards the top here that we could sail over. For no benefit. Hmm... Is there anything else then, right here? I feel like we've caught everything around here, maybe. So come jump over these. There isn't anything else. Uh, I guess we're done over here for the time being then. Hey, it's a salamander! Quagsire! I remember you from the cartoon. Quagsire. Something like that. Did Jesse have one? No, Jesse had a Wubbuffet. What did it... What happened? Did it run away? I guess it ran away. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do right here, so I'm gonna head on to our next state of affairs, which I'm not 100% sure on. Uh, it'll be back this way, back towards the right. Because I need to cycle past this guy and carry on. There we go, we're on our, we're on our way now. <laughs> Karate chop. Not very effective. Oh, okay. No worries though. Muscle knows what he's doing. Steamrolling, absolutely steamrolling. 
I will be mildly shocked if we do not succeed in defeating uh, Jasmine, or whatever her name is. Uh, did we speak to you? Oh. Uh, no. Thank you. I've already got Arnie calling me non-stop. I, I don't need anyone else. Thanks, but no thanks. Whoopa! Beautiful. The encounters just make things so slow going. I know you can get repel, but at the same time, they irritate him, but I want the XP, you know? <laughs> Literally every patch we go into has something waiting for us on the very first tile. Beautiful. I'm going to presume there isn't actually anything for these bits of water here. But it's worth a little explore anyway. Here we go, another Quagsire. My lord. I'm going to use Rock Smash, I haven't actually used that move yet. Defense down and rather poor damage, to be honest. Yo, that was a bit, that was quite a bit of damage. I need to be a bit more careful. A nice 500 XP, though. Thank you. See, at least with surfing, we're getting some of the higher leveled encounters, which are boosting our XP more than walking on the grass. Oh no, it's resistant. We managed it, though. No need to worry. Don't do it. That hurts. Do I have an anti-poison item? I think I threw them all away. Poison Karebari! That's incredibly fortuitous. I'm ready to get out of the water now, I think. I don't want to be poisoned again. I can't take another poisoning. Unfortunately, today is not your day. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
back through another cave. It's almost like they wait for you to stop. They wait for the opportune moment. And then out they come. It's a doddle though, it's fine. We're gonna get another level on muscle. Uh, hello. We haven't been down here, I don't think. No need to. Zubat! Let me be, let me be. Please. Get out of here. Sit yourself down. We don't take too kindly to yours around here. Zubat again? Oh, it's a sound true. That's a nice change of pace, at least. Thank you. Any moves to learn? No. That's fine. We have just got another evolution after all. I should probably invest in some repels just to make these travel through a little bit quicker. Never mind. It's like every time I stop to change direction, the Zubat goes, Oh, now's my time. No, now is not your time. Your time is never now. Your time came and went. This one followed me up the corridor. Oh, it's a Geodude! Again, another nice little change of pace. I'm so glad that we're just able to steamroll through all of these. Can you imagine if any of these battles were actual challenges? Oh, he says the low kick missed. Oh no, 2 HP. Will we ever recover? Well, it seems that we have. Can I do some surfing? I can surf. Is there much point to this? Hey, a level 20, that's what I need. Give me them sweet, sweet XP points, please. Or don't. Whichever. Hello, sir. What do you know, a visitor? That's me. I am a visitor. I am here to make your life better, Leonard. He's coming at me with a Geodude, first of all. 23. This is gonna be what Muscle needs. To take him to the next league. 600 XP. Beautiful. And then a Machop. No. We probably should, but 
muscle needs the XP to bring it up to a flat 30, the same as flat flap, and then we can work on some of our others. And also muscle is who we're going to be using to face off against Jasmine. So we need to make sure that he's good and powerful for her. Or she, that she's good and powerful for her. <laughs> You're a feisty one, you are! <laughs> Onyx! It's only level 8, which sucks. <laughs> but Onyx! Down in one, down in one, down in one. There's another hiker right there, too. Hello, sir. It's been a while since I last saw another person. Don't be shy. Let's battle. Kind of weird, but okay. Hiker Philip. Oof, that was my ankle. Did that come through? Yeah, my ankle snap. Oof. We were just talking about broken bones. Yeah, Rock Smash is kind of a lame move in battle. And that magnitude was... Uh, it wasn't good for our well-being. However, we should get up to level 30 now. We do. Lovely jubbly. Graveler. Uh, yes, I will. It's time for Muscle to be benched. And we're going to go with Mary Jane, because Grass is going to do us well against Rock. And you go in with Absorb. Beautiful. Had to leave for a few minutes, but I'm back. Welcome back, Sharp Gaming. Oh, not a self-destruct. I guess it'd better be Steve now. Self-destruct is a wicked move. Like a wicked as in bad move, not wicked as in epic. I guess it's a kind of epic move, but why would you toast your own Pokemon? I guess it knew it didn't stand a chance against Oddish. Sorry, Gloom. It's evolved now. Right. Let's work on Steve then. Let's get Steve up to level 30. Oh, there's an exit. I wonder where it leads. You need a sunstone or leaf stone for Mary Jane. Okay. That's absolutely fine. We were, um... I was wanting to just level up Mary Jane anyway, because she's behind the pack right now. Hello, sir. Mmm! Strange place this is. I don't even know where I am. Psychic Nathan! And it's a giraffe rig. Okay, Bite isn't going to help here, is it? Certainly not with Confusion. It's higher level than us. It was super effective, awesome! Cool, more of that please. This Giraffe Rig is toasting us. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Okay. Wait till you get that level 30 or higher, though. Yeah, we're going to level them up first before evolving when we need to. It's a nice amount of XP right there. 
Nothing to say, huh? <laughs> oh, Mum's calling. Hello, how are you? Found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Adventure's going fine, by the way. Thank you. I'm gonna give Steve a potion. I feel like we had that battle unfairly wrenched from us. Every single time! What the heck is this? Smeargle. What the... I don't even know... I can't even have a guess at what type that is. Sketch? New type in Gen 2 confirmed. Artist? Smeagol, the artist Pokemon. Guess we'll never get to see that sketch. Weird. Oh, I'm in the... Okay. Oh, the, this one's... these tiles are smaller. Okay, let's get the corners in. Fortunately, those are all nice and easy to spot. Uh, any straight edges that I can use? That looks like it sits there nicely. That one sits there, and then that one sits there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that one goes there. That does not go there. That one doesn't go there either. Oh, it might go below. That fits better, I think. No. Something for the bottom row. I have... N I can't even tell what this is supposed to be. Just kind of guessing now. get all of these out. I'm convinced that the uh, the ones I've got in place right now are correct. I don't think that one goes there. It's Ho-Ho, I think. I don't know who or, who or what that is. All I know is that it's asking me to make it. I can't figure out where any of these other pieces are supposed to go. 
That one might go there. I begin to think I'm just creating something symmetrical here that's not actually anything at all. Back out, back out, let me begin. Let's start again. The mascot legendary of this game. Okay. Let's get the corners back in position. I'm fairly sure that one's there. And then that one's there. I'm fairly sure those are right. This one goes there. That looks pretty okay. And then I want maybe this one on the bottom. No. That doesn't go there. I think that one sits on here. And then I think this is as far as we got. sitting there. successful to a point. I have I am I have no idea. Okay, that one that one goes there, yes. Zeus! <laughs> okay. I think that took longer than it should have done. And then that just dumps us down. There is a strange presence here. Dumps us down into the temple. And now we're all the way back here again! I don't want to be here. I 
gotta go through the freaking cave again. Holy bombastic! Hey, buddy. How are you doing this evening? You all good? Desperately struggling with this. <laughs> Just spent ages trying to solve a puzzle. And even then I feel like I guessed it rather than actually solving it. I'm good, thank you, how are you? I am very well, thank you, very well. Little bit of... See, I keep clicking my knuckles. Keep on just... It's really bad. But yeah, just enjoying a little, uh, a little pre-birthday chill-out stream. All that nonsense. I'm gonna be 29. 29 in two days. Oh, there goes my ankles. I am, I am, my bones are clicking everywhere. Insert that meme of the kid letting go of the butterfly. Is this old age? <laughs> oh gosh. How, how have you, have you been? You've been up to much over, uh, well, I guess the last year? <laughs> Lockdown been okay for you? I know, Mum said I thought you were a lot younger. Yeah, I, I maintain a youthful figure. Nice and slim and slender and a, uh, and a young face, but no, I'm evidently getting very old and very creaky. <laughs> it's not good. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to surf over this rather than walking all the way around. Try and cut out some encounters. Worked for a little bit, I suppose. I'm just going to bite my way through all these... Oh, excuse me. All these encounters. Every, sing every single thing we come across, just... Psh, clamp down on it. Get it out of the way. The buttons are too sensitive up until the point that they're not. I press down and he goes zoom, and then I need to go up, but then he just turns around and sits there, and then we get an encounter. Quagsire, the evolved form of Whooper, a fun to use Quagsire. Oh, oh, that's the water ground type. Oh. I knew Whooper was. Whooper, uh, threw me a little bit. I didn't realise it realize Quagsire evolved from Whooper. So water ground, I guess I guess you use grass against that. Because I think we got stumped trying to use an electric move against it. So I guess grass is the uh, the best way forward for that. Evolves into Quagsire. Oh, did I say the other way around? Whooper evolves into Quagsire. Gotcha. Oh, I've got this bag of. I'm about to throw the rest of these prawn crackers away, you know. I've already eaten more than I would ever normally eat. Now they're just getting really stale and not very good. Talking of not very good, this encounter rate is blowing my mind. Can we not? Are you seriously telling me that none of the Pokemon in this cave are put off by the trail of corpses that we're leaving behind us? You know like in The Force Awakens when the stormtroopers come round the corner and they see Kylo Ren just going mad on the console and then they just sort of retreat back? 
Why are none of these Pokemon doing that? They should just see us obliterate everything we come across and then go... Not today, actually. Survival Instinct kits, kicks in. I can't. Okay, we have actually done everything here. Good. Okay, Pokemon, drive me batty! <laughs> Zubat joke intended. Oh, wrong move. Never mind. You, uh, did well. You definitely scored a point with that joke. I guess you could say you scored a goal, Bat. <laughs> I get the family guy ostrich. Please just let me out! When I wanted to backtrack to uh, catch up on all the stuff that we've missed, I did not anticipate just how long we would spend catching up. I thought we were going to get through to Jasmine today. And yet here we are. The Puzzin Kareberi! Nice. Hello, sir. No. No, you can't have my number. I still need to find Arnie. Slowpoke well. Do we have anything to do in here? Yes. Yes, we do. Come on, muscle. You strength. Oh, great, there was something waiting for us right behind the boulder. Who knew? It was a slow poke. Of course it was. Still, we should get our next level up for Steve. Maybe not off the back of this fight, maybe off of the one after this. Oh, hey, we did get it off of that one. That's cool. Steve not wanting to yield, though. Yes, I shall serve. Got a ladder right there. What's down the ladder? Yet more water. Hey, there's a guy there. So, Magpie, sup? How you doing, Mags? Are you well this evening? <laughs> Are you well? Because we're in Slowpoke Well. <laughs> oh. I get myself sometimes. How are you doing, buddy? What's this man's story? Hello. I'm waiting to see Slowpoke's moment of evolution. Through observation, I made a new discovery. A Slowpoke with a King's Rock often gets bitten by a Shelder. Here, I'll share a King's Rock with you. The item pocket is full. You can't have it. I mean, do we need it, like, so we have the chance of getting a, a slow bro? I, I'm happy kind of just moving on without, to be honest. Unless it's valuable. Only if you could trade so many possibilities. Oh, if only you could trade. Yeah, I know. 
we're just going to have to make do without. All good. I am also very well, thank you. Have I played these before? I've played Gen 1 before. See, why do I need the King's Rock to catch a slow bro? There's one that's just literally offering itself to me. I don't need this. King's Rock turns Slowpoke into Slow King. Oh, I didn't realise there was another level. But, but yeah, I've uh, I've played Gen 1 before, played Pokemon Blue. Anything beyond that, zero experience with. I have very little idea of what to do beyond the core mechanics of a game of a Pokemon game. TM18! Well, I could take this. So, is that one I already had? TM18. Rain Dance! I need to trade with it holding it. Right. Is there an NPC in the game that will trade? Or King's Rock can turn Poliwag into Politoad. Oh. Well, I mean, there's no point. Like, if we've got something that I can just use, we may as well. Even if we can't trade. Anyone who needs a potion? No. Hmm. You playing on PC? Yes, I am. Give me a King's Rock then. Nice one. We'll hang on to that for a little while then. Maybe we'll find a, we'll find a way to use it. There are some that you need to trade with. That's the, if there's an NPC in the game that will do the trading, then uh, I can do that. But otherwise, I'm literally just at the mercy of whatever we find. Unless I mess with the wrong. Yeah, I don't know about that. Unless... If I bring up the menu here, there is... There is cheats. But I don't know what those are. Oh! Oh, these are just... These are for GameShark... Codes. Oh, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, if there's a cheat that just makes every Pokemon encounterable, then great. But it doesn't seem like there is. Or if there is, then I've got to go looking around for the Game Shark code and. It's not worth it. This is just supposed to be a casual playthrough, trying to experience as much as we can. So. If there's Pokemon that we can't get, then we can't get them. That's just gonna have to be. We'll just have to make do with that. How have the zoo vets not been taken care of by the slowpokes yet? Nice. Let's keep it moving. Heal me, then just touch me, so I can get some satisfaction. Alright, while we're here, let's empty our pockets, because, again, I've got too many items. 
and I'm not talking about the Minecraft mod. Well, actually, we may as well sell it. Rather than just storing some of this stuff, I may as well just sell it off. At least make some cash off of it. Yeah, sell it. Ice berry. Five. Fine. It's an expensive berry. that. Poison Cure Berry. Sell it. King's Rock. May make the foe flinch. Okay, we give that to someone to hold. And then, to be honest, I'm... Could be useful to have. Rain Dance. I'm gonna sell. Rather than spend a turn, a turn trying to make my water moves better, I'd rather just spend two moves using water moves. May keep that actually, we might be able to teach that to Spinchy or something. Okay. Thank you. The trades you have are what I call scripted. They will be there no matter what, and the Pokemon they will never change. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Those are the only ones I can work with. Hello there. Oh, the Apricorn guy! I got a fastball. Nice. I will try catching Pokemon with it. Can I give him another one? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I've got so many. Can I not give all of them to you? <sighs> like, oh man. I should be able to just give him all of my apricorns and then for every one I give him it will take a day longer and then just pick them all up at the end. Oh, what did Mum buy for me as well? She bought me a Moonstone! Oh, Could be useful for one of our Pokémon at some point. Okay, well if I can't give him all the Apricorns at once, then I may as well just drop all of them off in the computer. And then every time we come back to get a new ball, we'll just give him another apricorn right away. Playing Dead by Daylight, so we'll be hopping in and out. No problem. Okay, I think we're done in this town now. That's the apricorn guy. There was nothing to do here other than slow pokes, so that's all sorted. Let me out and on to the next place. Ah, the Ibex Forest. Ah, dish. Now... Oh, did I put the King's Rock in the PC? No, I still got it. Let's give it to... Who's not holding anything? Spinchy, there you go. In the remakes, uh, Kurt... The Kurt ball-making process is so much easier. Good. Because one apricorn at a time, especially when you can just keep on farming the apricorns, it's... So laborious. 
to just take him one, wait a day, go and get the ball, give him another one, wait a day. Like I say, I think you should just be able to give him all of the ones in your inventory, and then every single one that you give him means you have to wait another day, and then you just collect them all at the end. It still takes the same length of time, but it's just better from the point of view of inventory management. Sorry. I don't care what you think, that was a pretty decent Psyduck impression. <laughs> it failed! Psyduck, you failed! Nice, we're gonna get Steve up to 28 before too long. Let me out. Just too good to be true. Just couldn't let me have one more. Ah, my favourite Pokemon named after a capital city. How goes it this evening? God, you make me angry. Rage! Gotta love late 90s tech. Absolutely. It's my favourite kind. Just needs a bit of streamlining in places, that's all. Alright, I've got a place to surf here, so let me do so. Because I see this spot right here, is this anything? No. It carries on though, so it might be something. Ooh, this looks like a secret! Secret bonus, possibly. Once we get past Tentacool, obviously. I am the gatekeeper, it says. To which we say... You probably are. Now we're confused, we're just going to take a chunk out of our arm. And sure enough... Poison Sting, Insta-Poison. There's... you can't tell me that we're rolling really unluckily for the poison stings. There's no way they should poison that frequently. Oh, here we go. Three in one, let's do it. Irene! Yeah! A boy found us. Matt as a hatter, happy birthday. Thank you so very, very much, Matt as a hatter. How are you doing today? Everything going alright? Come on then, Irene! Irene with the Goldeen! Whether or not she'll win remains to be seen. I need Steve to win this battle for the level up. Above all else. Oh god, not more confusion! Go on, Steve. Just finish it off. That's what I like to see. Good lad. Level 28. Nice, nice. Trying to learn scary face! <laughs> no, thank you. Stop learning scary face. Oh, now Irene coming out with the Seeking. Steve can do it, I believe. I believe in Steve. Steve with... Wait. I believe in Steve. Defeated Irene with a Goldeen. Oh, mind you though. Okay, Steve, with the best will in the world, I don't think I believe anymore. It's Mary Jane time. I had to go use my parents' washing machine because my kitchen isn't a thing. Oh. It's unfortunate. Super effective. That's not going to heal us all the way. It does do some healing jobs, though. That's fine. And this will actually get us all the way up. 
Oh, it should be. Oh, it certainly will with a crit. Yeah, very nice. Should have just gone for the offensive. Instead of trying to make me offend myself with confusion. Should have just... Should have just attacked. This is what I mean, offensive moves are have got to be better than uh, using defensive ones. Just get your damage out there. Oh, he's too strong. Sure am. Problem is we've got to fight all three of these. Jen, you can't beat Irene and go unpunished? Oh no. I remember back in the day there was a rumour that if you got all the Pokemon except Mew then you'll be able to catch Celebi at the shrine. Nope. That day I never completed the Pokedex again. Did you not enjoy that era of gaming though where all you had to work on were just rumours that went around the, the schools basically? There was a kid in the school down the road. He caught Mew by using strength on the truck at Celadon City. And that was it. All you had to go on was word of mouth. Steve's out. Steve dead. Sad. I kind of like that, when rumours would just sort of fly around and... You kind of just had to... Either go with it, or disprove it. It was a more innocent time. You weren't able to just look it up. Really? You want to water me? I'm a plant. I live for that kind of positive treatment. That's what I'm talking about. Now coming in with a star me! Not as cool as Star You. Look at that purple. It's a disgusting purple. It's quite damaging for a, a not very effective move. We're going to need to work hard here. And that is certainly working hard. Thank you. There was another about a Pokemon called the Doom Dragon. Meant to be a mash of pixels like Missing No, which wasn't true either. I don't remember any that I heard. Oh, recover. It's such a cheesy move. I hate it. Another, another crit, though, is beautiful. just going to be back and forth, isn't it? This is all Gen 2 stuff and some Gen 3 at the time. Oh, I was only ever among the Gen 1 crowd. And I'm fairly, fairly sure the Mew under the truck myth was the only one that was actually prevalent. Starmie, don't you dare do it. Take it. This is very intense music for hanging up laundry. Do you not find it makes you do a better job if you've got intense music? That builds up the hype. Played them all except the Switch games. Maybe I will get there one day. But it will take quite a while. Mary Jane got a level up. Great. So sorry, Irene. Oh, it's Ani! One more time! Oh, I, when are you going to be here? I want a battle! One more. Come on, girl. Kate! You sure were mean to my little sisters. They were asking for it. What can I say? They just need to be better. Come on, Kate. Who have you got for me? Shelda! I ain't too afraid. My PP for this move though is not great, however, that was a blind in play first of all. 
Defense may go up, but I don't think that's going to help right here. Put the shelter back in its box. Next is Cloister. One of my one of my power six Cloister. Oh, Cloister looks sweet in Gen two. Very cool, I like it. Oh no, not Aurora Beam! Oof. That's a big old, that's a big old Roblox one right there. Colossal, oof! Come on, Spinchy, it's been a while. Oh wait, Spinchy's grass as well, isn't it? Okay, we it's not super effective at least. See, how come my poison stings never stick like the tentacles do? I ain't afraid of no clam. Spinch, I've got to be honest, this one ain't for you, man. This is one for Barbara. Thunder Punch. End it now. Nice. There we go. You should believe you lost, Kate. Because you did. Literally no reason to come down here. Do any of these give us an item? Hey! Soft sand. Okay. I was going to say, if there's nothing here, one of them must give, give us something. So what does soft sand do? Powers up ground type moves. I haven't got anything with ground type. Uh, you know what? No, don't surf. We're right by a city. Let's fly. Goldenrod. Do 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 do. Yes, heal them up. Got an Abra yet? No, I do not have an Abra. Because you just, you just need to luck out on catching an Abra. I don't know if I want to spend the time on just hoping for luck. Uh, yes, okay, we're done here. Let's go to the radio station, see if our lucky trainer number is in. Hello. Yes, I'm here for lucky number. Yes. This week it's 27682. No. Why Why play the victory music if I'm not winning? I spent days trying to get one when I first played. He is my fave. Like, Alakazam is super duper strong. So it is definitely well worth the investment, for sure. But you can also only get Alakazam by trading, I think. And that's... Obviously, again, that's out of my control right now.
Hey, it's another berry tree containing mystery berry. Ooh, I'll nuke the Elite Four. <laughs> what the mystery berry does. I guess we'll never know. For it is... a mystery. Oh wait, this is where Arnie is! Let's find bug catcher Arnie and we will round this stream off by absolutely nuking him as well. <laughs> Arnie? I think this is Arnie. Give no quarter! Your hooves have flinched but survived the bite? Dang. Blasted out of the sky. Ain't gonna let that happen twice. Good job. I was waiting for you! Let's battle! Alright. Attack versus Arnie, the rematch! He's, uh, he's very proud of his Venonat, let's see just how good it is. Level 19, I don't remember what it was last time. But let's see if this Venonat can hold up. He's been bragging about it for weeks now. See what you got, Arnie. I told you I'd be back. I bet you wish I hadn't. We got him again. Well, I see. So you battle that way. You know I battle that way. I'll call you if anything comes up. <laughs> Sit down, Arnie. You ain't got nothing. Ground into pie crust. <laughs> Another Nidoran. Take a big old chomp out of it. And then we're going to carry on on our way. It's Thursday today. Does the bug I think the bug catching contest runs on a Thursday, doesn't it? Probably doesn't run at night. But let's have a little look. Hello. Today's Thursday. That means the bug catching contest is on today! Oh, okay. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokémon, catch a bug Pokémon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Heck yeah! Uh-oh. You have more than one Pokémon. You'll have to use Croconaw, the first Pokémon in your party. Um... Sure. Here are the park balls. Good luck! Alright. Person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. 20 minutes. If you run out of Pokeballs, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own! Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. Okay. Let's. Let's. Get something victorious. Okay, Paris. Not a fantastic start, I must concede, but we should at least get us try and get ourselves something. I don't know if there's a prize for less than first place, but let's at least have something for them to judge. 
and we may as well start with a Paris. Hold A, never fails. Perfect. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. It is doused with mushroom spores when it is born. As its body grows, mushrooms sprout from its back. Beautiful, we got ourselves a Paris. A Caterpie. Better or worse than a Paris? It's a higher level. So let's see what let's see what we can do. We'll take it. If we can. I may have ruined my chance though. Let's just try a ball on it. See if we can catch it at half mast. Hey, and a Caterpie too. We're on a roll. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from the antenna on its head to drive away enemies. I already caught a Paris. Uh, switch. Yes, Caterpie's next. So does that mean we've now dumped the Paris? Ho 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 ho! Okay! One up! We're doing good! A bee drill? Absolutely! Well, it had to be a crit, didn't it? A little bit of XP though, nice! Caterpie, we've already got one. I don't need it. It's a higher level, sure, but I'm not. I'm not going through the rigmarole for one higher level. Probably should still attack and defeat the Pokemon though for XP. So I will do that. Obviously, we do have the risk of potentially meeting our demise because I'm assuming if our Pokemon faints, then the competition is over. Let's go into some of this really thick grass. It's a freaking pincer! Now I think pincer is weak to water. Okay, let's try. Yeah, I wasn't holding A, I didn't think that would work. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try for a Rage. No, actually I'm gonna throw another ball at it, why not? Hold A this time. Ah, oh, I pressed it at the wrong time so it didn't work. Oh, bind happens a couple of turns in a row. Okay, let's try Rage just to bring the health down a little bit more. We might end up killing it though. Okay, significantly weaker. Bind is still going down. Let's try it this time. Hey, okay, now we have a pincer. Pincer, the stag beetle Pokemon. With its horns, it digs burrows to sleep in at night. In the morning, damp soil clings to its body. Where are we at? Okay, keep the pincer. I bet this is the Caterpie we literally just released. We don't want him. Go away. You took him. You can keep the... I won't finish the quote. It's rude. Level up for Steve. Sweet Steve. Good job, Steve-o. Very nice.
Beedrill's back. Is this likely to be better than Pinsir? I'm not so sure. We'll have a go, we'll see. Especially if it's that low on health, we should be able to make this work. Matters I had to look at all those little bug emojis. Was that a fiver? It was. Alright. Now for the B drill. Ah. I don't think we can do much more to catch it, especially as it's going to keep on attacking us. One more. I'll try once more. If we run out of balls, the competition ends, which is fine. I feel quite confident with the pincer, to be honest. Okay, just... Just end the B drill for now. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like anyone will have done better than the pincer we've got at the moment. What am I doing? No caterpies, not today, thank you. Mind you, level 18, it's a pretty tough caterpie. That would be like an instant evolve to Metapod and Butterfree. But it's not for me. I said it's not for me. A heap of free XP for Steve though, we're doing great here. I don't know if we'll be able to get him to level 30 before the contest ends, but we'll see what we can do. Does the... the attendant said we have 20 minutes, does that... In, is that including time we're spending in battles, or is that literally just... meandering time? Because if it's... only the time we spend walking around... Then we're gonna be here until we're gonna be here for another hour. Especially if it keeps on giving me caterpies. Maybe you can end the competition early by leaving. I may have to try that in a minute. We'll do a we'll finish our lap around the park. Kakuna! Hello. I bet it's 20 minutes real time. Probably. Time freezes in the battle. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm having a great evening, enjoying streaming, but... I do have to go to bed. I've got stuff to do tomorrow. I need to be up early for work, so... Can't stick around all night. Kakuna Matata What a wonderful bug So I uh, I used to have a t-shirt, I don't have it anymore where it had a ratata holding up a kakuna on Pride Rock um, and the caption said Kakuna Ratata It's very very witty like a Lion King reference with Pokemon. Top quality t-shirt. Really nerdy. Really clever visual pun. Definitely looked better than it does being described. Hey, Alani! The Venonat! Every time I see a Venonat now, I'm going to think of Arnie. If we ever catch a Venonat, we have to call it Arnie. I mean, we could have caught one right there, but... It's not going to outshine our pincer. No, sir. Another Paris. 
All right, I, th I think we're I think we're done here. I think we should try and leave and see if that ends the competition early. I don't feel like anyone's going to beat me with a pincer. Pretty good level pincer as well, by the way. You still have ten minutes left. Do you want to finish? Yeah. Please wait at the north gate for the announcement of the winners. Alright. We will now judge the Pokémon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready? Placing third was Bugcatcher Benny, who caught a Weedle. Okay, good. The score was 302 points. Placing second was me! Second? Gosh, with a pincer. The score was 347. Who was in first? Cool, cool trainer me! Yes! <laughs> okay. In game, we may not have won. IRL, we won. That's what I like to see. And what did Cool Trainer Nick catch? A Butterfree. Okay, fair. You can win with a Butterfree. Only beat me by four points, though. We won an Everstone, though. Cool. That might fetch a little bit of cash. Thanks. Give a nickname to the pincer you see. Oh, sure. Ladles and jelly spoons. We come up with a name for our brand new pincer. Pinchy. <laughs> Do you know what? I was thinking exactly the same thing. We've got Spinchy. Now let's get Pinchy. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Your party's full, so the Pokemon was sent to your box. Thank you. Oh, I can't cycle in here. Fine. So, we should now find our way back to a town. Let's do that before we wrap up the stream. Okay, there's, there's Bug Catcher Arnie. The rest of the park is to the left. This is where we take on the Pseudo Wudo. The Tough Twins. Apricorn Grove. Not fushed, fushed. Not fussed about that. Hey, hey. Hello, Jay. How's work going? We're just about to uh, wrap up for the evening. Just made it back to a town. We got Fly. We defeated Waluigi in the Cyanwood Gym. And then we've spent the rest of the stream backtracking, doing bits and pieces that we've not been able to do. But here we are. We're now in Ecrutique, which means that next stream we'll be moving onwards to Olivine and taking on the gym there. Oh, also, we uh, rematched against Bugcatcher Arnie and, understandably, of course, we absolutely toasted him. Awesome. Other than that, I think we're sorted. Where's Irregular, Jay? <laughs> Good question, I've never thought to ask. Alright, let's get our saves done. Potato signal here. I'm not surprised. Awesome. So, all in all, a great little Pokemon jaunt. Our Flaffy evolved into Ampharos. Our Machop evolved into Machoke. We caught a... Oh, excuse me, we caught a pincer. And we re-defeated Bug Kachirani, as well as taking on Waluigi in the fighting type gym. He shows up now and then. So that is going to finish it for uh for Pokemon. 
Pokemon Gold, and indeed, my birthday streams. Nice, calm, understated, just like how I love my birthday to be. Breed Machoke with Slowbro, you get Slowchoke. Blowbro? What? Blowbro and Slowchoke are, um... Hmm. <laughs> Related, for sure. Whoops, what a typo. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up. I don't really, I don't celebrate my birthday too, too much, so just doing a nice, nice casual stream like this was absolutely ideal for me. I've had a wonderful day playing video games and getting my hair cut and all the rest of it. Always wonderful. Happy birthday! Thank you very much. Let's shut it down. We don't need the game anymore. And... Get ready. Oh, look, some cake. I think I've got plenty of cake coming over the next few days. So I'll, I'll just make do with uh, with my prawn crackers. For the time being. Anyways, on that note... Let's... Pop by... Let's go to Shiv this evening. Shiv's playing Rocket League. So we'll drop a little raid, pass the love on, and launch the attack attack in her direction. Everybody, as per always, thank you so very, very much for coming and for hanging out with me throughout the course of today, and for celebrating my pre-birthday with me. For all of the bits that have been dropped today, it's very much appreciated. Jay coming in with all the gifted subs as well. Thank you. It's very, very much appreciated. I always have to say it. I always have to say it. Even if I didn't have to say it, I would still say it. Um, and uh, also as well, we had a couple of extra followers as well. So, all in all, 100% successful day. But that is going to do it for today and indeed for this week. We shall be back at some point next week. If you want to catch up with any of the VODs you may have missed, you can find the VODs uploaded to the YouTube channel right there. If you want to hang out, Outside of the stream, there is a link to Discord for you to join as well, if you want to. And you can also follow me on any kind of social media as well, just by looking up Tech Productions on any of your chosen social media sites, and you shall find it. Except TikTok and Snapchat. I'm not on those. Anyways, uh, let's launch the raid on before I get timed out. Everybody, thank you once again. I will see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Good night. Goodbye. Hope you have a good birthday. Thank you. So do I. Catch you later, Ollie, Jay, Matt, everybody else. Good night.